On the beach. On the beach. Anyone know that old song? That's the only words I know. Get out of the water right now. What are you doing? I should know be being in the water. Mommy, mommy. Mommy, daddy. There's something scary running after me. I will get you. Now I gotta stop playing with the toy. Oxford, why you gotta be so expensive, you son of a bitch? Said beach. Beach, because this is a beach, get it? So you know what? If you can't afford the set, it's okay. Just look at it here and try to emulate it. You guys can do it. I know you're experts at this. I'm not. That's why I bought this thing. What's up, you guys? Welcome back. Bring me up, Scotty. I'm Scotty, and it feels good to be back in the office once again. I'm leaving again. Man, you guys probably don't know, because I'm trying to upload videos while I'm on the go but this is the most recent one. And for those of you who don't know or that you do know, you know I haven't been around because I've been in the hospital as well as on tour. I'm totally fine, it's okay, some lifestyle change. If you're like me and you're 40 years old, go get your body checked, man, because you don't know what's in your body. But anyway, I'll be fine. I'm cool, man. You know, we're not here for that. We're here for this. Check this out. This is from Oxford Block. You know how much I love Oxford Block. Every time I buy a new set from them, I'm like, this one's my favorite. No, this one is my favorite. There's so many favorites because they're so different. And that is why I love these guys so much. Because look at this thing right here. This thing is beautiful. Oh no. Is this thing available? I didn't put it on the store because it was quite expensive. But one of you, I know who you are. It's okay. I won't say your name. I won't say that you're addicted to this. But you know, we bought the set together and I sent it to you and I absolutely love this thing. This thing is so awesome. So if you don't know, Oxford Block is from Korea. They have a lot of cool sets that you can buy normally, but some of their more exclusive limited runs are really hard to find. You have to know someone in Korea. You can probably go find it yourself on eBay. But if you really, really want the set and you don't care how much you want to pay for it, that means you're in the club of Oxford. We can help you find it. Just email us on brickmeupscotty.com. You know, Lego, why don't you make sets like this. So does this go in your city? Hell yeah. So this is Oxford Block's Ocean World. Limited edition, no idea how many pieces there are, but this is actually based in Korea's number one water park, Ocean World. They actually have this theme there called Surfing Mount. Here, here's a picture of the Surfing Mount. That looks crazy, man. Look at all those people in the water. Thank goodness the set didn't come with that many minifigures. This is actually a really cool idea. I wish there were just more of these kind of unique sets because this is what made me fall in love with Oxford Block. And you know, it's just another alternative brick brand. More expensive? Yes, they are. So get your cigars, get your champagne, and let's look right into this thing. Usually I'll do the reviews without the minifigures, but they deserve to be on here because there's a lot of them and they kind of make up for the set as well. I mean, they kind of belong in here. But what I'm also going to do is kind of show you the set without any minifigures on them so you get an idea of an empty set. And you know, maybe throughout this video, you kind of see a variation of both so you get an idea. Cool? Where do we start on this thing? Well, first of all, it's not really using a base plate. It's using tons of plates on there. So it might flex a little bit here on the end just because there's so much going on over here. There's nothing here, it's super light. We'll start on the back and move our way forward like that. First of all, I love the Egyptian theme. It is based on the park. But for me, I actually really love the Egyptian theme, like movies, mummy, Stargate. So this is why I probably even like this set more. It looks really cool, man. Loads of stickers. This thing is full on stickers, man. There's no prints on here. Does that kind of suck? Yeah, it does. But you know, you have a choice. You don't have to use the stickers if you don't want to. It'll just look a little bit more plain. If you look on the back here on these pillars, those are like super long stickers that are going over the tiles. Why you do that? Once you build that, it's probably gonna have to stay like that. You look. Don't put stickers over tiles. Why you have to do that? But the quality on this set is actually really good. Transparent stickers are actually great. And I love the details on that. Look at all those hieroglyphs. Really cool. They mirror each other on both sides. There's a little clock here that has a time. And there's the logo for the ocean world there. And I like the back wall here, how it's like flat, smoothened out, but it has like a real jagged look to it. That's actually really cool, man. Then you got these two gold minifigure statues, and it's actually really funny how they designed them. So the legs aren't actually attached to the body. They're kind of like in front of it. So it just kind of gives the statue a little bit more depth. I like that idea. There's a sphinx on top, and it's all built together. So it's not one piece. So that's really cool. 
I absolutely love the waterfall. The same goes for the wave. The wave is amazing. We'll come to that in a second. You got two brown diving boards there. They're just like flat pieces. And I like the cobras. Look at the cobra head that is going all along this thing. That is really neat. What's interesting is underneath the cobra head are these plates, They're like triangle plates there. They actually use a lot, man. You have to stack and stack. One of them was actually bent, but luckily you're stacking so many on top of each other, it came out pretty flat in the end. Really interesting to see that kind of design. I haven't seen that before. If you look at the whole thing in general, it is all studs. Would it have been cool to put flat transparent tiles on there? Maybe I think so, it would have been cool. I can't really argue about it. I think it's okay because you know, you can put the minifigures almost anywhere you want if you want to stand them in there. Uh, maybe I'll take some of the Ninjago water tiles and just fill this up and see what it looks like. But still, the waterfall and the waves make up for this thing. It's kind of cool, like under the waterfall, there's a little gap there you can probably put and hide more minifigures in there. The waves are actually a separate piece. You can pull that off, you build it, and you slot it in there. So it does kind of have a little bit of a movement there. And if you go up and down like that, see that? And look at the textures of these white waves, how it splashes down into there. And I really like how they splash it with a little bit of white tile there and light blue studs. It kind of just looked like, you know, the depths and some bubbles forming. I don't know, man. I thought that was actually really a cool idea. You know, I just love it so much when they do waves and water. If it's in brick form, I'm just always amazed by it. I do like the pillars here on the side. There's a nice decoration, but again, those are stickers. A lot of stickers, man. Super, super small. They're sometimes they're hard to put on. So if I were you, put the whole set together first and put the stickers last. Just kind of look at it and see if that's what you want to do. Because you might want to save the stickers, or you want to take the set down and then rebuild it in the future for your kid. Or you'll always have the stickers there. So the Cobra's eyes, the Sphinx's face, and the statues along the back, the bodies as well, they're all stickers. Dang, man. I think this one has one of the most amount of stickers, small stickers I've ever seen in a set. You got the chain link fence going along both sides. It looks like the guards are up there yelling at the people swimming in the water. I see floating poop in the water! Get out! Ah! They have a little bit of red here and yellow. I'm guessing that is the level of how deep the water is because the guys here in the front are running after each other. That is actually kind of interesting. I don't know why they're doing that. But that's what it shows in the book, man. Then you have a little bit of a beach area here. You got some palm trees there that look pretty cool. And you got a very simple basic table and some lounge chairs. I wish the lounge chairs incorporated the couple studs because the minifigures can just slide off it and of course you have an umbrella and again that is a sticker so if you haven't noticed by now some of the minifigures don't have legs they actually do you'll see them in a the close-up but I took some of them off so they can sit in the water it looks like they're halfway in the water right but these two guys right here are really special they actually have the I don't know what those pieces are called the ones that like twist up and down but they just sit on that and you can like oh move them up or down or you can place them in other areas too man i just love looking at this set it's just so much fun things to look at even though it's not super huge it makes me want to buy more theme park related stuff and you know i wish lego had more rights to the disneyland actual rides to make in lego form so they can sell it and we can all make theme parks together yeah i want one area that's just like a theme park like crazy stuff now in the manual it shows the surfer kind of riding on the wave, but there's no way that I can actually mount him on there. So you guys will have to figure that out yourself. But you know, I just put him wherever. And just to show you guys, here is the manual. It's really small actually, it's not a huge build. I'll open it here for you guys. It goes top down, that's Oxford block style, man. Up down, yeah, look at those. Instruction download. It says download there. It's worth a try and give it a shot. Good luck trying to find it. It does come with more accessories, look at this. Come with tons of surfboards, so all your minifigures can go skiing or surfing. I don't know why they come with the ski poles. I guess this is skiing and surfing, but there you go. Lots of little accessories, extra pieces in here too. Look at all that. Yeah, and stickers. Boy, these are the sticker stuff I was using. There's one issue that I did have with the stickers. Some of them are super small, and some of them actually go on the minifigures themselves, especially on the legs. Those ones are popping off. I didn't like that too much, so like I said, don't put the stickers on yet. See if you like the figures first. Maybe you don't mind it without the stickers, yeah? Speaking of minifigures, holy smoly, are there a lot of minifigures on the set. They are all individually unique, so that makes it really cool. They're not repetitive, so thank you, Oxford, for making them like that. Let's check them out. All right, you guys, I'm not gonna name them. Let's just go through them one by one real quickly now. Here's the little girl. She's not wearing a swimwear, but I do like the polka dot outfit. That is a sticker, by the way. 
Everything has to be a sticker on this thing. Even her safety ring there, it's a sticker. You know, it's kind of cool that they actually had that piece as a safety ring. Look at her eyes, man. She looks spooky like that, like big black eyes. But at least she's smiling, having a good time. So there she is, little girl on the beach. Here's the mummy, the scary mummy. That's part of this theme. And the printing on the head is actually pretty cool. Now this is where it starts to become questionable whether or not you like stickers because the body's a sticker and the legs, and they can kind of come off when it goes around the legs. So mm, I'm not sure if I like it being a sticker. And even the waist, that's a separate sticker, man. Ah, oh, too many stickers and they're super small. Be careful if you're really gonna use them. But other than that, he looks kind of cool. Yeah, all right. And here's the guard. I like his sunglasses there. Nice shades, printed. Body is not sticker again. And look how they put stickers on the side of their legs, man. Too many stickers. It says Daimyeong. I'm pretty sure that's the name of the water park. And on the other side, it says SWIB. Not sure what that stands for. But there you go. It's the guard. Looking serious, man. Better not tick him off or he'll come after you. And then we got this female guard. She's more cheerful, at least. She's got her horn there that she's holding. And again, sticker on the front, sticker on the side. Stickers, stickers, stickers. Too many stickers. Other than that, they look fine when they're playing. And then we got the crying guy. This guy looks like he wants to cry. Look at his nose. It looks really funny. He's got like a bandage on his nose and a tear on his face and his mouth is all wiggly. I actually really like that. And surprise, surprise, the body is actually a printing. See, why? Why are they half printed and half not? I just don't like the stickers on their legs. They're like little triangles to make up shorts. They're gonna fall off really easy, man. Oh, anyway, I do like his face, the printing, funny hairstyle. And then you got the surfer dude. Look at him. He's wearing a sticker on his shirt. Ocean World. I like his gold hair. He looks kind of like an older gentleman. He got a little bit of a mustache on his face. It's okay. Nothing special. At least he has a surfboard. Or maybe that's not a surfboard. It looks like a ski almost kind of thing. Anyway, there he is. All in black. If anything, he should be the one with his muscles showing. So here's the cheerful girl. Look at her, I like her cheeks. Maybe she's in love with someone on the beach, so she's like blushing. And look at the bikini top, printed. But again, stickers on the legs. No thank you. And funny enough, like the guy before, her, she's got like kind of a realistic skin tone there. Okay, and then we move on to the next one. Same deal, man, his muscles are printed. Man, I wish I had muscles like that. Maybe one day. Look how happy he looks. And he got a black hairstyle there that's pushed to the front. He's happy to be in the water. But again, couldn't they just have printed their shorts? Now this guy is the one that was taking a tan. Again, the realistic skin tone there. He looks like your typical businessman lying on the beach. There's those stickers again. Why, why, why? Printing on the face looks totally fine though. Yeah, actually most of these guys, they look fine on their faces. And this girl's super happy having her tan as well. And look at her cheeks, she's blushing too. Or she's just getting burnt. Again, printed bikini top. Funny that they have a belly button on there. And other than that, plain, the stickers. Man, I would just not use the stickers on the legs, but they might be kind of naked looking. You know, I'll leave that choice up to you. You leave them naked, or you use the stickers, and know they'll fall off in a few months. Oh, and you got the freaked out girl. She's like, Actually, she would make a good figure for like a scary film. We can pop her head off and use her in another set. Again, printed bikini top, stickers on the legs. But I love the facial expression. I think it looks really cool. And she looks terrified. It doesn't look scary like the little girl that we saw earlier with black eyes. So at least they got that down. So now we come to the last two guys. And these guys are the typical Lego brick skin tone color. Printed body again. Nice sunglasses, nice beard with his blue cap. But again, the stickers on those legs. Just, just make them naked, man. But other than that, like I said, printing actually looks pretty fine on these guys. Now we come to the last female here. Same deal as all the other ones. Printed bikini and stickered legs. So now this is whether or not you like the stickered legs, but man, there's a lot of stickers you gotta put on and they will peel off over time, especially when you move the legs up and down. So just for you guys, I put the vest on the minifigures. You get a couple of them and look at this one here. Man, I'm telling you, this vest has separate small stickers. Does it look good to you guys? Yeah, that's what I mean, man. Just 
either use the vest without a sticker or just don't even use the vest. But there you go, at least you get an idea. If you love stickers, you'll love this set. So there you guys go, the minifigures for Ocean World. Drop test. Do I have to do a drop test on this? <laughs> now it's not on a single plate, so I don't know how it's gonna react. And the minifigures will probably fall, but it actually should be pretty solid. Yeah, should I do it like this here? Lift it this high. How high do we have to go? In three? I'm getting nervous, man. Two, one. One. Yeah. Just the umbrella. I'm happy with that. It's still intact, look at that. Nice. Okay, you guys, break out your base plates. Here we go. This is a little bit of a funky set. I'm gonna set this down here. I'm gonna slide this over here. And if we measure from here to here, the length of it, I'm gonna put this base plate here. And that is roughly around 28 studs in length. We'll throw this here to this side there like that. And it's definitely longer than a 32 by 32 base plate. So if I put this here, and put the second one here, like so, just like that, that is 40 studs by width. Now let's check the height. Break out your one by four bricks and we're just gonna do it right here. Look at that, it's perfect, man. It's right there. That is 16 bricks in height. Yeah. And just to show you guys, we wanna see underneath it, some of the minifigures might fall over. There we go, oh, there they go. There it is. So you can actually see there's a couple of base plates there. It's like two big ones, two medium sized ones and one small one right there. So there you go. Yeah, your dimensions. So there you guys go, Oxford Blocks Ocean World, limited edition. You know, just hit me up, email me if you really, really want to know the price, availability, see if we can help you get the set. I absolutely love it. And thank you so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. I will be back with more. Ring that notification bell. I don't know why it's not working for some of you, but you know, that's YouTube, man. Yeah, dear, anything you want to say? We would never abandon you guys. We still love you all. Yeah, we still love you guys. Anyway, until next time, bring me out. The set is so hot, we need to put it out with a fire truck. I'll, I'll review this one later. Sorry to tease you guys. I know some of you are waiting for this one. Dear, you falling asleep on me over there? Yeah, man. I'm enjoying my suntan right now. But, but there's no sun, man. It's freaking raining outside. What are you talking about? There's plenty of sun. Use your imagination. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Dude, I, I love this part like that. Like, walk like an Egyptian. Walk like an Egyptian. Is this my favorite Oxer Block one? It's pretty close, but there are a lot more to review coming your way. Man, if they can put like a little power to this thing and make the waves go up and down like that. That would be so cool, man. I know some of you guys bought the Beach Cafe from us. I think it's still available. I'm not sure, man, it's getting dusty. Does it go together? Yeah, look, because I have like beaches on both of them. You know, you can probably put this one on this side. I'll put the link in the description and right here. You can watch the Beach Cafe review. I love this Beach Cafe. I think it's actually really cool. Look at that. The color of the sand is slightly different, but you know, now we're talking, man. You can take the waves from here, put them over here. So, there you go. Beach Cafe comparison. Yeah, or we can slide this over on the side, put it like that. Looks like I have to make a beach party now. Oh man. Sure use a cup of coffee right now. Mm. Oh yeah, here's the other side of the coffee mug. I know you wanted to see this. Hey so I'm looking at you right now. That's the back side. Nothing there, super flat. But anyway, watch that review. Pretty cool stuff. Maybe you put it this way. Bam! From one beach onto the other. It actually kinda makes sense like that. It's like hitting over here and flip this around. So watch. Here. It's like a restaurant, cafe, and you got the park. How cool is that? Oxford, man, we need more, but cheaper, please. Please, pretty please. Man, this place is so crowded. How am I supposed to swim in this? We can go sunbathing instead. Nah, the last thing I need is sun. Hey, look at those guys over there. They're being chased by the mummy. What's up with that? That makes absolutely no sense. Yeah, I know, right? Hey, that guy's surfing, man. Why don't we go surfing with him? Sounds like a good idea, if you have the space to do it. Oh, look at 
people trying to catch the wave? They look so freaked out. <laughs> Maybe we should just wait till everyone goes. Yeah, it's 7 o'clock. Should be closing time soon. I don't think they're going to go anywhere, though. You're right. This is getting boring. Nope, they're not going. Ah, well. Thanks, guys, for watching the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And we'll be back with more videos. Until next time. Bye-bye. See you guys later. Nope. They're still there. We're going to be here for hours. Man, you guys might as well go back and watch some older videos. At least there's no kitty cat here. Thank goodness. No. Yeah. What was that?